beautiful morning. Hopefully it's not too nice for the walleyes. <laughs> Got them. Fish on, just as the sun comes up. <laughs> nice. Did not mark that one, Calvin. No. Nope. Hit nice heavy up. fish. We're out here snapping the jig and wrap. Actually, this is duck hunt, <laughs> duck, duck hunting hunts. opener weekend, isn't it? Pheasant opener weekend. Oh, nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> Real nice fish. Walleye number one, man. Here it comes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come right out. Good pressure. Chicken wrap just popped Good out. Pressure. Come here, sweetheart. That's a healthy fish. Yes, too. it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to start the day. You know, the pattern that we're on today, you know, it's certainly not a pattern that Cal and I figured out ourselves. It's, it's a pattern that uh, the Lindners have done a lot to popularize, kind of discovered it. It's snapping the jig and wrap, which is typically considered a ice fishing lure. I'm gonna get this fish back, but you know, what a dandy. So what we're fishing is uh, the jig and wrap. This is a number seven glow yellow perch. It's a very common ice fishing bait. And what we're doing here really is uh, we're implementing wintertime presentations, but on open water. Uh, it's late fall, um, October, middle of October. Uh, duck hunting's going on now. Lots of guys out bow hunting. Water temperatures are starting to fall and these fish are just stacked up on steep breaks. So what we're doing is we're vertically jigging these jig and wraps and these fish, which will respond to these baits just you know, wonderfully, once we get a sheet of ice, are already in these late fall, early ice areas, hitting these ice fishing baits. It's a really cool, fun presentation. No live bait needed. It's just a real classic jig stroke, and these fish absolutely wallop these baits. You know, what will surprise a lot of people is, you know, you start getting into the, the late fall pattern like this, and so often guys start to think, you know, minnows, live bait. But these jigging wraps and other baits that have kind of a snapping, darting action do such a great job of getting these fish, which, you know, very often aren't super aggressive this time of year as the water temperatures start to fall. For whatever reason, as these baits dart and glide past this fish's face, they just have to grab it. You can come through here and you could rig big minnows. And what you're gonna find is you're gonna get a lot of fish that'll hit those big baits. They don't hit them very aggressively. It takes a long time for them to eat them up. You miss a lot of fish. But fishing this jig and wrap, you know, they got that hook front and rear, and then of course that little treble on the belly. All they gotta do is just touch it, and you've got that fish coming to the boat. Whoa! Here's one. Not much, nothing like the one James got, but hey. you can see right in the middle of the, uh, on that treble hook, right on the bottom of that jig and wrap. Basically all that fish hit, that fish basically when I set it on the bottom, picked this jigging wrap right up off the bottom. It's just a, it's not so much of a, of a snap jigging motion, it's more of a, a lift and kind of hold the line tight and let it fall. And that jigging wrap just sets on the bottom just for a second. That gives that walleye just enough time to actually pick it up off the bottom. Or the one that James had earlier actually hit it on the way up. That fish, Cal? Yeah. That sure looks that. like it. You know, I think I might save some of these waypoints for ice fishing. <laughs> I actually had this fish hooked up earlier, and I was a little frustrated, and I went right back down to the bottom, and I... thankfully she gave me a second chance, so I don't know how well she's hooked, but. Got her. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Full of spunk. Full of something. Nice fish. Want to put her down for you? That might be my biggest uh, jig and wrap walleye right there. Not a bad fish at all. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get her back down right over here. Oh, good fish here. Another good one? <laughs> Dude, we are on these fish. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna be an upper 20s, but good fish. This is so much fun. You know, this is one of those patterns that, you know, once you kind of have just the basics of it figured out, you're gonna come out here on these lakes, these heavily pressured lakes, and catch a lot of fish. Look at that, jig and wrap just popped out. She tried to, try, tried to take a bite out of me. Such beautiful fish. Nice. Pretty much a book into the one that you just had, bud. Yeah. Awesome, awesome bite. Perfect weather. This is the kind of day where most people would stay home, they'd be raking the yard, mowing the lawn, trying to get ready for winter. I'd much rather spend it out here catching big walleyes. That's very nice. 
you know, a lot of times in the fall, these fish can get really deep, but what guys don't appreciate is not all fish are out in that deep water. You'll always have some fish, and they're very often the most aggressive fish, up a lot shallower. We've had most of our fish today 23 out to about 28 feet, which you're not gonna have any problem releasing those fish. The basic setup is, is I'm running 832 suffix, um, 20 pound, six pound diameter. Um, I'm using a, a swivel that's like a 30 pound swivel, and I do have on about a two foot um, suffix 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And the reason why I do this is just to allow for a little bit of stretch um, inside that line and allow for this line to become invisible. This white line does disappear, but it's totally invisible with this fluorocarbon leader on. And then basically just a, a standard snap to hook that jigging wrap on. Yeah, these fish have all kinds of places to go and hide. You know, right behind us, they have a... Got him. Oh, look at that rod, man. <laughs> You know what it really comes down to with these jigging wraps? You gotta match the forage species and the lake you fish. It could be shiners, it could be shad. Here it's perch. Once you got the color figured out, after that, it doesn't take much of a, you know, an experienced walleye fisherman to know what to do next. Holy smokes! <laughs> I think I got another upper 20 uh, inch fisher, bud. Nice. Yeah, <sighs> that, that extreme is, that extreme's bent, doubled over, nice. I've got about six foot of 10 pound fluorocarbon knotted in on that uh, 832. Just smoking them. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> uh, all righty. We're into something pretty special here. You know, like I mentioned, we're not on some Canadian flying lake here. I don't want to give it away because it just wouldn't be fair to the fishery to point out exactly where we're at, but we're right near St. Cloud, Minnesota and we are catching a bunch of fish like that. That's pretty awesome no matter where you go. We were kind of debating about doing this show up on Lake of the Woods. If I was up on Lake of the Woods, I'd be thrilled catching fish like this to do it within 45 minutes of St. Cloud. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Diesel hardly got warmed up this morning. Yes, it did. It was, <laughs> it was definitely a good 4.30 a.m. wake up call this morning. That's definitely for sure. All right, sweetheart. How cool is that? This is fun stuff. This is big fun. Yeah, it's what, 58 degree water temp, so I wouldn't say it's gangbusters mode as nope. yet. It's, this bite is probably just getting started. I like the sound of that, you know? Might have to come back a couple more times, <laughs> yeah. but that's counting chickens. Let's just get back on these fish. Man, that's just awesome. Ooh, it's a fat, stout one. That fish, well, look at Pop there, loose. consistent. Every fish has just been coming right off in the net. You gotta make sure you keep that constant, uh, constant pressure on these jigging wraps when you're reeling them in. Otherwise, you know, every fish we've had today has come off right in the net. Wow. You know, I like figuring out new bites and technically, like James mentioned earlier, this really isn't something that's new. You know, we've been seeing the linders do it, but if gotta, you give see, them, gotta give them props. Yeah, you give them, give them credit for what, they, what they've showed us. And when you can take something that we're showing to you guys out there on TV and you can go out there and do it on your own lake, it, it kind of proves that, you know, not all TV shows are, 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 are fantasy land. It's, it's an actual bite and program that we put together. And come out and do it on your favorite lake. It just makes this fishing trip that much more enjoyable. Well, I mean, this is really our first day doing it. Uh, if you follow the basic, uh, ideas, vertical jigging, jigging wrap, uh, looking at classic uh, fall locations, and these fish are just there waiting for you. 